First win in the competition, Jim. Good, good performance tonight. Pity about the uh, the goal right at the end. We could have kept a clean sheet, but I thought we looked comfortable. Yeah, we did. Three well. Yeah. Um, with all the uh, horrendous news we've had recently, what with Tony and the the FA Cup, it's good to get a win. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we, we, we've. It's good to get winning this competition. Uh, I wouldn't say that um, we've played um, our strongest side in any of the games, including tonight, but I thought tonight the boys that came in, especially Denzel, I thought he was exceptional. I thought Michael Pindley done very well. Um, pleased to see um, Connor Martin come on and get the last 25 minutes as well. So it was a really good good workout for us. But you're right, we, we, you know, we can't buy a clean sheet and that lack of concentration again. Um, a little bit of a damper on it, but not too much because it was a good yeah. win. You know, we it had, was a good win. We, yeah. we, had, we had another lot, quite a lot of other opportunities as well. And the football we played at times was exceptional, uh, and a very, very young side out there as well. So, yeah, pleased with it. Yeah, I thought um, you were talking last time about players coming in, taking their opportunities, and I thought Denzel was outstanding tonight. Yeah, um, on his weaker side as well. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. again, so if you factor that into it, that's uh, and he had a greater plus four for me, yeah. and, and obviously for himself. But you're right. I mean, we mentioned about them coming in and not doing themselves justice, not excuse the phrase, but knocking on my door, asking for a start. Um, I think he's put himself uh, in a very good position, yeah. uh, and I'm pleased for him. Yeah. Michael Pendy looked good at times there. Plenty of pace, holds the ball. Yeah, up. he um, yeah, he's got lo lots of pace. He's lacking in fitness. He hasn't yeah. hardly done anything this season, so it's good that he's coming over. Um, fantastic lad around the dressing room, and he, and he looked good. I think he looked good. He's strong, quick. Um, yeah, I think it'd be quite a good acquisition for us as well. Yeah. Lewis Clark, I thought, had a good game. Went in the middle of the back three, um, organised well. And Connor, as you say, came on, and he did really well. Some strong tackles, linked the play well. Um, I thought he looked good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so Lewis Clark is not available Saturday. Um, He's away on business, which I knew when he signed. Rob Bartley um, is away anyway, if not suspended. Um, so for, to not be able to play Ash Miller, Kingy tonight as well, um, we, it was important that we rested them so we didn't pick any injuries up. It's a huge game Saturday. Uh, there will be a new signing, um, probably if I can get it done tomorrow, if not, it'll be done on Friday. Um, very, very good player. Um, play centre forward. So um, we haven't wasted any time in um, looking to find a replacement for the time being for Stokesy, but I think Stokesy will be a shorter term um, than, than what we first envisaged, I think. I mean, for me, it's his, I think he's been told his meniscus, so his cartilage, yeah, yeah. which, you know, touch wood, you get the results tomorrow, uh, that might be a minor operation and, you know, for Christmas time maybe for him to come back for that. Um, so. Like I say, we didn't waste any time to go out and get a, a replacement, and uh, that's what we've done. Um, I won't name him now just in case he doesn't no, of come off, but yeah. I'm hopefully meeting him tomorrow but, yeah. um, to get it signed. So, mm -hmm. as soon as it is, I'll, I'll let, I'll let uh, the Grays faithful know. Good. Cambridge City on Saturday. Um, they're one of those teams that just don't seem to be performing to their, to their best. I think they're a better side than their league position. Shows. Yeah, I mean, um, they've, they've, um, so they've, the two wins they've had um, against Tilbury. Who we know, very good side. Yeah. And then Corshaw, also another good side. So the two sides they've beaten uh, have been, you know, very, very good sides. And then they'll probably be the first to admit they've let themselves down in other fixtures, maybe. But um, yeah, we're expecting a tough, tough game uh, on Saturday. They've got some very, very good forwards. Yeah. Uh, we have to deal with those. But we've just got to go out and play our own game, I think, and, and continue to do what we do well. And just reflecting on the um, FA Cup debacle, very difficult to to take, but I think it's made us stronger. It's made us more determined that when we put that behind us, we've still got Essex Senior Cup, we've still got the FA Trophy, and we've still got the league to concentrate on. Um, the lads obviously have got the right attitude, they're not going to let it put them off and I'm sure you think the management are feeling the same. Yeah, um, it, it did knock us for a, a good week, week and a half if I'm honest, but the dressing room have now got over that. Um, and then you hear the, the news today that Liverpool have 
uh, been given a fine um, for playing a player. I mean, this is a professional side, regardless of them asking for international clearance. Uh, he didn't have a national clearance, but he didn't play in the English league like Frankie did for two clubs last year. So how can we get kicked out of the competition and they be given a fine? I think it's just absolutely disgraceful from the FA. And it just shows that they've got no respect whatsoever for non-league football um, to be able to do that. No, I think, I think you're right, Jim. It's, they pay lip service to non-league. They make the right noises, but it's actions we need. And something has to change. I'm, I'm sure it, it will in the future, hopefully. Um, so, Saturday, and then who's our next fixture in this competition? Uh, Romford, I think. Romford. Oh, no, it might be Brentwood, then Romford, actually. So, we've still got an opportunity yeah. to have a say in the final outcome? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. I mean, we'd take one, one, one game at a time, but as you, as you uh, succinctly put it earlier, you know, the main focus for us is the league, um, the FA Trophy, and the Essex Senior Cup. And I um, just want to get, get momentum back again now and start yeah. playing a few league games, FA Trophy games and yeah. whatever, and uh, yeah, and, and like I say, but I'll, I'm certainly looking to spring from the squad, and as I say, this week we will do um, fantastic signing, um, a goal scorer, um, so, you know, it's, it's one that I think um, people will be pleased with. Supporters will be pleased to say, yeah. yeah. Good, that's great.